and welcome back to my channel you guys let me explain before y'all even see the groceries today my healthy self and my unhealthy self was having a battle and so we got a real mixed grocery haul behind me <laughs> because I, I was going back and forth while I was shopping so it's like I got a lot and a whole lot of nothing at the same time <laughs> but I'm a cooker I cook very well so I'm gonna make it I'm gonna make it happen with what I got behind me okay so yeah let's get into it let me step to the side so as you guys can see it's a whole lot of something but it's random it's it's, it's very random you guys so um yeah this month i pretty much did my grocery shopping at walmart um why i did my shopping at gro my grocery shopping at walmart i'm i'm really not sure i usually um do my shopping at sam's club i think i'm just in a rut like most people are it's like the end of the year you're getting tired you know i'm just gonna chalk it up to that you know but you know walmart is a good place to shop so you know it's, it, it just is what it is this month you guys and i still might go to sam's club i don't know but we gonna see so today you guys this is 230 dollars worth of groceries behind me which i feel like with today's economy that's good that's a good grocery haul with today's economy that's 230 dollars worth of groceries behind me it's random but like i said you know but um let me get into it actually you guys i need to go find my receipts from the store so i can give you guys prices while i tell you what i got give me a second okay everybody i am back and i was searching high and low for this receipt and it was in my pocket you wouldn't think i would have put it back in my purse but i didn't put it back in my purse so how I do Walmart grocery orders is, I don't know how many receipts I got in my pocket, but um, as I read off the thing on the list, I am just gonna search for it on the table because trying to pick up the item as I see it, it's gonna get real scattered. Also, if it takes me a while to like, you know, try to figure out the abbreviation on a receipt, just give me a minute because as you know like when you grocery shopping they don't put like the whole name of what you got on the receipt they put abbreviation so sometimes i'll be sitting here like what the heck is that so if i pause that's why but let's get into it and um i also want to let you guys know i got a bag of chicken legs and it was the chicken legs let me see if i can find it real quick yeah the chicken legs was four dollars and 94 cent for a bag it was a, let me see if it tells me on the receipt. It was a five pound bag of drumsticks. Sorry you guys, you, get, you guys probably hear my daughter crying, but she's three and she's having little three year old tantrums every day. So if y'all hear her, she's fine. She's just probably not getting her way. But anywho, back to the receipt. I got a, oh, I lost the chicken legs again y'all. But I got a five pound bag of drumsticks. And I feel like for a five pound bag, four dollars and 94 cents, that's really good for a four pound bag of drumsticks. And I really love drumsticks. So just as a disclaimer, I did get them, but for some reason, like the bag had got busted open and it was like leaking um meat juice everywhere and that's just nasty so i had to go take care of that put it up and clean up the juices that it was leaking out of the bag for some reason when i was getting um my groceries today bagged the lady that was bagging my groceries she didn't do a very good job also another item that i uh got got damaged um it was like some cilantro lime sauce that we were going to use for tacos that that got busted open so you know trial and error whatever so let me um start um naming off the things that's top on my list and the first thing you guys right off the bat i'm trying to figure out what the heck this is what is this great value fan 
stay in the east. What is that? Great value and feast. It was seven dollars and forty six cents. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna move to the next item. And as I get down to the last items, maybe I figure out what great value fan feast is. I don't know what that is. I have no idea. Okay, anywho, moving on to the next thing. Um, popcorn, popcorn cinnamon. Okay, that's this. <clears throat> if you guys watch my cast videos, you guys know I rave about popcorners and this is actually something really healthy for you to eat. This is the cinnamon crunch um, popcorners. It kind of put me in a mind of like cinnamon toast crunch. That's what it tastes like, but just a healthier version. Turn it around to the nutritional facts. We gonna zoom up on that. And you can eat 17 chips for 130 calories. I feel like that's really good. Um, it only have three grams of sugar in it. Um, I don't know if you care too much about the sodium and everything, but when I look at um, how healthy something is, I look at the calories and how much sugar is in it. And it's only three grams of sugar in it, you guys. So I feel like that's not bad at all. And these popcorners are really freaking good. They're really good. Um, Okay, the next thing I got is this creamer for my coffee. I got the Italian sweet cream. This brand of creamer is so good, you guys. I used to get the um, zero sugar creamer, but I feel like the zero sugar creamer, it just, it just, it's not giving for me anymore. You know, I need my morning coffee to be delicious. So I really like this. Um, it's still only 30 calories, you guys, and it's only five grams of sugar. So it's still not like a super bad switch, you know. And so this creamer also was $2.68. That big creamer was $2.68. Um, the next thing I got, that must be the season I saw. <laughs> Yep, so I got some seasoning salt, you guys, to use in the kitchen, season different things with. This is a staple item in my cabinet because I use seasoning salt for just about anything. And this was $2.96. Next thing I got was paprika. If I can find it. Where are you? There you go. So yep, I got the great value paprika because I don't know why for a while I was not using paprika to season different things, but you guys just give it a try because paprika, man, so good, so good. Like to season like chicken with or what's another thing I put paprika on? I can't think of it right now, but I mainly use it for like meats that I eat, so try it you guys. I, I don't know if anybody else steered away from it, but I did and I'm glad I'm using it again. But this is a dollar and 12 cents for this, which I feel like is a really good deal. <clears throat> Next thing I got is two of the Mott's apple juices, the 100% apple juice um i get this for my daughter to drink and you know me and my husband to drink it too but mainly it's for her um if we do give her juice um it's mainly this this mott's apple juice and this is this was two dollars and fifty cents so both of these were two dollars and fifty cents a piece and this should last her like the entire month Okay, and then great value LF. LF, what is LF? What is that? Uh, I don't want to guess what that 
is. So I'm just gonna move on. And like I said, now, as I get down to, you know, what's left, I'm probably gonna figure it out. But moving on to the next thing, I got four of these Jiffy Mix cornbreads just to have in my cabinet. I got these. And I got four of them just to have in the cabinet because we got a lot of holidays coming up, you guys. Um, not saying that these are probably going to last me into the holiday, but still, I still just like to have them in the cabinet because it's a staple item. I just recently start back using Jiffy Mix cornbread. I don't know why. My mom, she always used Jiffy Mix um, growing with me growing up. And for some reason, like I started using like, hi everybody, I'm back. So my uh, memory card ran out of space, but um, let me put this receipt down. I were, it stopped to record and I was talking to you guys about this Jiffy Mix. Like I was saying, I don't know why I ever steered from buying Jiffy Mix cornbread because it's what my mom used. It's what my grandmother used. It's it's what all the women in my family have ever used this Jiffy Mix cornbread. I've started buying this um, like honey cornbread and I don't know, it was, it was cool or whatever. But one day I was just like, you know what? Let me just, you know, in a rush, grab Jiffy Mix cornbread. Tell me why I made this Jiffy Mix cornbread. It, 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 it was the best cornbread that I've had in a while, in a while. I'm like, my mom, my grandmother, all the women in my family know what they doing. Like, girl, just trust the process. So, yes, I got um, four of these. And you guys, it's these are way cheaper than the cornbread that I've been buying. The box of cornbread I've been buying is like $2.50. These are $0.64 cents a box. $0.64. Cents. $0.64. Cents. Yes. I will be a Jiffy mixed cornbread making woman to the day I die. Now. <laughs> okay, so um, the next thing, oh, I said 64 cents. No, those were 62 cents, you guys. That was 62 cents. Another reason why. Anywho, let me um, keep on moving along here. Um, I got some great value um, like water flavor packets. Even though I still need to buy cases of water, but I just got these while I was at the store. I got um, strawberry watermelon. Strawberry watermelon flavoring for water. And I got pink lemonade. And I got mango punch. And then all of these, like this is one on the back, the calories. This is five calories. This is 10 calories. And this one is 10 calories. So all really low calories. I feel like if you just want like some flavoring in your water, you don't want to drink pop, you want, don't want to drink juice, you want something that's like really low calorie, just go ahead and just put some flavoring in your water and you can, you can just be as healthy as you want to be, you know? But, um, oh, I almost didn't tell y'all the price. So I paid two dollars and 24 cents for all of these two dollars and 24 cents not for all of them but each of each one of them was two dollars and 24 cents okay the next thing i got was um spaghetti sauce and when I make spaghetti, you guys, I like to like get two different sauces to go in my spaghetti. So I got the meat flavored spaghetti sauce. I don't know where my camera's not focusing. And then I got, uh, I really don't want to drop these cause they'll break. And then I got the 
tomato, basil, garlic flavoring. So these are the two um, flavor of spaghetti sauce that I'm gonna put in my spaghetti when I do make spaghetti. And like I said, I like to get two different flavors because I don't know, it's just really good that way. But um, yeah, these were, and then they're 60 calories per serving if you're interested in, a new, in the nutritional facts, but those were $1.62 per jar. And then, oh, the next thing on the list was that avocado cilantro sauce that got cracked open that I had to put up immediately. Um, that was $3.42, which I'm really kind of irritated about because that sauce was kind of expensive for it to get had been getting cracked, but you know, it is what it is. Um, the next thing I got was um, this grain, it's called grain and grow oatmeal. Um, I used this to put it in my um, son's bottles to thicken it because for some reason, um, he can't drink his bottles regular. We have to like thicken his bottles with oatmeal. Um, I think I told you guys about this in the previous videos. He went through three different um, formula changes before we figured out that the reason why he kept spitting up was because his milk just needed to be thickened. Well, you guys, I just, you know, mama to mama, if there is a mama that's watching my video, I would have loved to have breastfed my son, but when they say every baby is different, like every time around that you have a baby is different. Like with my daughter, I breastfed her until she was almost one. With my son, I only made it to about three or four months before my milk just, it, it just wasn't thriving. And before I, I was able to produce, I was an overproducer. And then this time, I don't know what went wrong, but I just was not able to breastfeed my son, which I don't know, I feel kind of guilty about because I really just, I hate that he have to go through this like with changing different, different formulas and having to get oatmeal in his milk. But I'm gonna stop rambling about that because I don't know if, if everybody cares about that. Everybody that watch my channel is not a mom. So, you know, anybody that do care, you know, that's the story behind my son having to get oatmeal in his bottles. Um, but moving right along, this big um, thing was $5.48. And I got the big one just because we use this in every single last one of his bottles. So it has to last us a while. And of course, if I need to go back to the store and get more, I will. But, okay, moving right along. Who? what is this next thing? What is this? When I say the abbreviations that they be putting on here, it just be like, what is this? Oh, that's Oscar Mayer. Girl, <laughs> oh, I said girl. <laughs> I really hope it's, it's not, I don't wanna say I really hope it's not guys that's watching my channels, but I almost said girl. <laughs> like I'm really imagining like I'm just sitting here talking to y'all like I'm crazy. But tell me why they put O-M-W-N-R-S for Oscar Mayer wieners. Like, I was like, what is O-M-W-N-R-S? What is that? <laughs> okay, but anywho, I got two packs of these Oscar Mayer wiener hot dogs. And you guys, these are my favorite hot dogs to buy, like, they are so good. If you guys haven't tried getting these, it's hands down my favorite hot dogs to buy. And um, I mean, it's, it's really, I don't wanna say it's nothing special about it, but I feel like if you like, like a hot dog with kind of like a, not crunch, but you know, like, I don't know. It has like a better like firmness to it. I don't know how to describe it. These are good ones to buy. 
and as you guys can see if you're interested in the nutritional facts it is 110 calories per hot dog i got two packs and they are two dollars and 84 cents per pack and then i got frozen peppers and onions and this is just something really good to buy just because you know you don't have to cut up pepper and onions they're already frozen if you need to add it to something you can just open up the bag throw it in whatever it is that you're cooking and it just thaws out as it cook so if you guys haven't tried getting your onions and peppers frozen you're gonna save a lot of time just just get it this way and i feel like they're not even it's not even bad in price to get it this way um this bag was two dollars and 58 cents and as you guys can see it's like a pretty big bag for two dollars and 58 cents save time and a little bit of money because i feel like if you buy the bell peppers fresh i feel like but bell peppers and onions is going to be more than two dollars and 58 cents so you you might be saving some money too doing it this way um anywho moving right along what else did i get oh that is this right here i got some turkey sausage and you guys, I will butcher trying to say that. It is kill, kielbasa. <laughs> Have I said that wrong? I am so sorry, you guys. Kielbasa, turkey sausage. Anywho, everybody knows about these, these sausages. These are the sausages that when you go over to your grandma's house and she asks you if you're hungry, she'll cut one of these up and cut it in half and fry it up and just give it to you. You can have it. For breakfast lunch and dinner this is like another staple item but anywho moving along um this is three dollars and 47 cents these have this the sausage have gone up in price because i do not remember this sausage being three dollars and 47 cents it definitely went up in price because i think it used to be like two dollars and 50 cents if i remember correctly but you know, I, I need my staple items, so I'm gonna pay the price. I'm gonna pay. And then, um, Reese's Brownie. I know exactly what that is. You guys, don't come for me. <laughs> don't come for me. I got these Reese's Brownies. Um, and in my theory, in my mind, is that if I have to make it myself and I don't buy the brownies already made, maybe it might deter me from eating them. <laughs> or if I put in the work, then I deserve a brownie, right? <laughs> but anywho, um, these were $3.46, which I feel like is really good because if you make a whole pan of brownies for $3.64, that is really good um disclaimer my family love peanut butter flavored things so when i seen this i was just like i gotta get it i gotta get it for my family um this is um the nutritional facts it's 15 servings per box and it is 130 calories per serving um i don't know what that means as prepared but it's 180 calories. So I got that just to have like something sweet in the house. So we don't go crazy just running out of the house trying to get things. Um, <clears throat> the next thing I got is this big tub of pork rinds, you guys. This is for my husband understand that between him and my daughter they will eat this entire thing i don't know what it is about pork rinds but they just love them which i have no problem with because pork rinds is actually kind of healthy for it being pork rinds um nutritional facts zooming in up close eight these are 80 calories you guys 
80 calories in a serving size is a half an ounce. I don't know how much that is exactly, but I feel like, you know, it, you get a decent amount for 80 calories and they're pretty good. I feel like everybody have tried, not everybody, but a lot of people have tried pork rinds before and you know, they're pretty good. So for this big tub, I got, um, I got them for $6 and 84 cents. And then the next thing on my list, it says Lance. I think that's this, yeah. <clears throat> I got these cheese peanut butter crackers. Like I said, um, my household like anything that's peanut butter flavor. So I got these crackers for people to have as a snack and nutritional facts. They're 222 calories per serving, which I think it's about six, six not cookies, but six crackers per package. Um, and this was $3.48 for this. Okay, and then the next thing I got is, I was trying to be healthy when I got this, you guys. I got these Quaker, Quaker rice cakes, the chocolate kind. And yeah, I was trying to, I was trying to be healthy when I got these and I, I am going to eat them. I really do like these. Um, but you know, this is my healthy self trying to get these. And as you can see, they are 60 calories per rice cake. And you guys, if you haven't tried rice, rice cakes already, you need to try them. The chocolate kind is so good. It really make you think like, you know, if you got like a sugar craving going on, it really make you think like you're eating something like, you know, a little sweeter. I mean, these are sweet, but you know, it have like a, it has like little chocolate pieces in it and it's very crunchy. It's so good, you guys. You just gotta try it. I, I'm gonna fail at describing what these are like. Um, the, this was three dollars and forty-eight cents for this package, and then I got oh pie crust. I did get pie crust because you guys, I I used to not used to. I usually make my um, chicken pot pie with um, crescent rolls, and I really like doing it that way. But I feel like it's the, it's the cheaper route to just buy pie crust. This pie crust was, where was it? The pie crust was $4.24. Whereas if I would have just got the crescent rolls, I feel like when I did the math in the grocery store, it would have been more expensive. So I'm like, why don't I just get pie crust? I don't have to go through trying to open that dang on can and it like pops open and it scares me. I really hate it. So I'm like, let me just, <laughs> let me just get the pie crust you guys. And I will let you guys know how it is. Um, I think most people make their um, chicken pot pie this way, but the crescent rolls just give the crust like this flaky like crust. I don't know, I, I just like it, but I was going the cheaper route, just going ahead and buying a pie crust. But uh, yeah, four dollars and twenty-four cents for this pie crust. And oh, and you guys, let me come back. There is two pie crust in this package, so I'll be able to make two chicken pot pies with this. So that is amazing. Um, moving right along, I got sweet chili sauce. Cause I have to stay up on my condiments, you guys. I love to like put this on different things that I eat in the house. I don't know why my camera isn't focusing so you guys can see it, but it's a uh, sweet chili sauce. 
and this is two dollars and 22 cents i think maybe the light is too bright <laughs> ah there we go there you you can see like they're putting it on an egg roll but you can put it on much more than that this sweet chili sauce is so good and that's what it looked like kind of puts you in a mind of like sweet and sour sauce and then the next thing i got is this this says hot slash spicy i think that says seasoning what is that it can't be this this is taco season oh my god you guys oh i'm so sorry if i was just so loud in the camera my family do not like anything spicy i didn't even know they made spicy taco seasoning oh my god i'm so glad i seen this before we made tacos because if that taco meat would have been spicy and my three-year-old was eating it she would have you guys had a full-blown tantrum okay so i'm so glad i seen that but 88 cents for this taco seasoning, which I'm probably not gonna use because it's hot and spicy. I mean, I can make it maybe for myself on the side because I will eat hot and spicy stuff, but I cannot make this for my entire family. My, hu my husband also don't eat spicy stuff, so this is just not gonna work. But if you guys didn't know, they make hot and spicy taco seasoning. I did not know that. I was, I was so confused when I was looking at the receipt. I was like, what is hot and spicy seasoning? I didn't get no hot and spicy seasoning. Apparently I did. Okay, anywho, moving right along. This says eight ounce PL. 18 ounce PL, what is that? 18 ounce PL. PL. What is PL? It's not that. I don't know what that is. PL. Eighteen ounces. That's not eighteen ounces. Is this eighteen ounces? That is not eighteen ounces. I. <laughs> because I don't know what 18 ounce PL is. I have no idea. So that's gonna be one of those things once I um, keep moving along, I might find out what the heck that is. I don't know what 18 ounce great value PL is. I have no idea. Anywho, so moving right along, um, I got some vegetable oil because I am going to do some frying. I plan on making um, homemade um, chicken sandwiches. And then this um, big thing of vegetable oil is $3.84. I don't deep fry a whole lot, but when I do, I will buy vegetable oil. Um, the next thing I got, this says Louisiana, Louisiana, what is that, Louisiana, what is that, I think they just be making up stuff, oh never mind, they know they don't. <laughs> uh, that, and that don't say that don't say Louisiana. I thought it said Louisiana. I thought it was an abbreviation for Louisiana. But um, yeah. I got these toasted raviolis. And it has beef inside of them. I've never tried this before. But I am so excited to. Because I love raviolis. And they are fried. So I, 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 I might make these tonight. 
these look like they were gonna taste so good so good um but they are serving serving sizes in nutritional facts it's trying to focus on my face focus on the food not me um the, for four pieces it is 240 calories like i said my healthy self and my unhealthy self was definitely having a battle when i was shopping and yeah i got those so um these are four dollars and seventy hi you guys it's me again my card it, it it ran out of memory again so i had to go get my ride or die SD card that have tons of memory on it. It should not go out again. So, um, let me pick up on the next thing here. Next thing I got is Texas toast. And this is just something I'm gonna make with something I already got in the refrigerator. I plan on making shrimp Alfredo pretty soon. And I'm gonna have this cheesy, Texas toast with it. It's gonna be so good. And this box of Texas toast is eight of them in there. It's two dollars and forty-four cents. And then the next thing I got, great value SR flour. This is it right here in front of me. So I got some flour as well because I ran out of flour and um this is a dollar and 54 cents for this and i never get like the very big one because i don't do a lot of bacon or use a whole lot of flour so even though i did just run out of the one that i have but i always just get the small one because i don't use flour like too often and then the next thing i got was chicken strips i got these just for like quick and go meals um just on days i don't feel like cooking or for my family to just have a quick lunch and these are seven dollars and 86 cents and this is a one pound bag of chicken strips so these should last a while I don't I don't really know though because people really like chicken strips around here so we'll see how long these last and then the next thing I got great value 6280 I think that's this it's $9.40 I think that's this. No, that's not that. Hmm. 60 to 80. What is that? Am I missing some stuff? I'm just trying to figure it out. I <laughs> um i got this bag of shrimp um just because i make uh a lot of dinners with stuff that have shrimp in it i don't know if that just sounded right what i'm just saying i am so tired you guys it is like about four or five o'clock in the evening and i am just like tired I've had a full work day and nothing is making sense to me. But anywho, I uh, got this bag of shrimp because I cook a lot of things that have shrimp in it. So that's why I got such a big bag. And I usually like to get the peeled, deveined with the tail off. I, I like other people to do the work, get somebody else to do it. I'm not deveining, I'm not peeling nothing. I just wanna cook these things up so that I can get on with my evening. <laughs> this bag was um, $9.42 for this bag. And I, I would have got the smaller bag, but I got the bigger bag just because I wanted it to last a while. So that's why it was like a little bit more in price. 
which I usually like to get my shrimp from Sam's Club because I feel like I get a lot more. But here we are. It, it is what it is. Um, the next thing I got was this indulgent trail mix. And like I said, my unhealthy self and my healthy self was having a battle. And I was trying to be healthy, so I'm like, I'm gonna get some trail mix. But my unhealthy self said, I want the trail mix with chocolate in it. <laughs> so, y'all see that chocolate in there? It has chocolate in it. So, I don't know how healthy this really is. But, um, nutritional facts. It's 140 calories for one fourth of a cup, which I feel like that's a lot. One fourth of a cup is a lot for 140 calories. So, I feel like it's better than eating a Snickers bar. Like, come on now. We gotta, we gotta meet ourselves with, you know, kind of where we at. But, um, yeah, this is $6.47 for this big bag of trail mix. All right, and then the next thing I got, is corn on the cob my family really love corn and especially corn on the cob so yeah i got this little package though because um i got the big package one time and it stayed in the freezer for a long time and it almost got freezer burnt so i got like the small package here and this little package is two dollars i feel like that's really good though you get six of them for two dollars so yeah i feel like that's really good and then the next thing i got is it says 90 10. that's it i got um I know what this is. <laughs> it's turkey, ground turkey. <laughs> I don't know why I looked at it that long. But um, yeah, I got ground turkey. I've went on a long rant about ground turkey on my video before. I, I try not to get regular ground beef because ground turkey is healthier. So I get the 90% lean, 10% fat. And I feel like, like I said, I really don't tell the difference when I cook this between ground beef and ground turkey. Ground turkey definitely have a cleaner taste to it. That's why I buy it. And this package is $11.23 for this roll. Okay, and then the next thing I got was chicken patties. And like I said, this is just something uh, quick and easy for my family to cook for um, like lunch or, you know, if I don't feel like cooking. This bag is $5.74 and this is a one pound bag of chicken patties. Um, I don't know how long these are going to last because my family really like chicken patties. Um... Next thing I got is some thin sliced pork chops. And I absolutely love pork chops, you guys. A lot of people steer away from it, but I love it. And it's something I still buy for my household. But this package is $11.93. And it is like a family pack. So this will last us like a couple of meals. Um, probably two meals. So I can get two meals out of this package. So I feel like that's a really good deal. Ooh, I'm running out of space to put things. Okay, next thing I got was um, pasta. I recently made a switch to my pasta too. Like I said, I try to get the healthier things. I dropped it. <laughs> I'm so clumsy. Um, I buy whole wheat pasta now. And I like the thin spaghetti, you guys, but I get the whole wheat pasta because I feel like it's just a little bit healthier. And so it's those little switches that makes a difference. And I got two of these. 
And so, um, those, those were a dollar and 76 cents. And then I got yum yum sauce. And I, this is the sugar free yum yum sauce. And you guys, I cannot rave enough about this G Hughes sauce. If you guys see G U sauce, G Hughes sauce, it is so good. I've tried the barbecue sauce and I've tried the yum yum sauce. Um, I can't think of right off the top of my head all, all the sauces I've tried of his, but it's really good. Um, this uh yum yum sauce is i want to make sure i'm saying it right four dollars and 88 cents for this and that's just a sauce that i like kind of put on everything i also got this really big package of gum because i love gum you guys i chew it for anxiety reasons and i chew it because i love it um this package of gum was $3.78. Um, and I usually buy it in a big package like this because it's cheaper to buy it in a big package like this than to, you know, be at the uh, register and just grab one package and you're pretty much paying like the amount that you would pay for just getting this big package. You know, just buy your, your gum in bulk. Okay, so next thing I got is, this is, I'm kind of excited about this, you guys. I found apple cider vinegar, like the detox brand, and it has honey, cayenne, and, oh, it's just honey and honey cayenne, and it's the wellness blend. So I am so excited to try this, you guys, because I know that's the blend that everybody use for like the detox. And as you guys can see, like you see the cayenne at the bottom. So you guys just gotta like kind of shake it up. I better stop shaking this before I drop it. But uh, you guys, the struggle to finish this video today is real, but I got dedication. I'm gonna finish this video for you guys. I'm going to finish it because the devil is trying to make sure I don't finish my video. Okay, moving right along. Let me hurry up because I charged my battery enough to finish this video. So I need to talk fast. Okay, so the next thing I got. Oh, I don't think I finished telling you guys about this. So yeah, I got this apple cider vinegar. It is the Honey Cayenne Wellness Blend. It is, um, I know people use this blend for like detox. So this is like the detox apple cider vinegar brand. And you can see all the cayenne at the bottom and it's kind of got a, like a red tint to it. I have no idea how this is gonna taste, but um, I could definitely use some detox in my life, okay? So this was $16 though. That's kind of kind of steep, but I feel like for what it's gonna do, it, it might be worth it. You know, I'm gonna let y'all know. But um, yeah, this is $16 and it is in Walmart if you guys end up wanting this detox honey cayenne apple cider vinegar blend. Um, the next thing I got, what is great value LT? What is LT? Um, I can't tell you what the heck that is, LT. I'm gonna keep moving along because I have no idea what that is. Um, I got some seasoned fries. And this is a Oh, four pound bag of seasoned fries. And I got such a big bag just because everybody in my house like fries. So that bag was $12.58. That was like almost one of the most expensive things I got on my list was fries. But it was a lot of fries, so it's okay. And then I got 
Um, is that, is that what this is? Great value. That might have been that. Um, oh, that was the first thing on my list that I didn't know what it was. This is $7.48. I got the Great Value Fiesta Blend, and this is two pounds of cheese. And this is gonna last us the entire month because we make a lot of things with cheese in it. We like cheese, so yeah. But yeah, that was $7.48. And then I got these um, low carb, wraps this is gonna be for like a taco night and i always get like the low carb um like keto brand because i try to get the healthier things when i can there's eight tortillas in here and this package was three dollars and 98 cents and then the next thing i got i wonder this says black what is that? Oh. <laughs> I don't know how I was reading that. But anywho, I got these baby back ribs, y'all. I got these baby back ribs to have for a dinner, probably a Sunday dinner. As you guys can see, this was $10.05. And then I got um, two things of barbecue sauce. This was a uh, dollar and 76 cents for each. And then I got two packs of hot dog buns, which was a dollar and 38 cents. And then I got a package of, hey guys, it's me again. <laughs> My battery died again. I don't know what is conspiring against me for me not to finish this YouTube video, but I am here for you guys. I'm here for it today. Y'all see my nails? I'm missing two nails. <laughs> don't think that cap for me. I gotta do my nails again. I do my own nails now, you know. This, it's, a, it's a skill I've been working on and I'm getting better at it. But um, let me finish up this video for you guys um, because it's literally all over the place. Don't come for me, you guys. I literally did my shopping, came back home and said I was just gonna do a video today. I was not prepared, clearly. But let's um, get through the rest of these items that I have on the table. As you guys can see, I had to put some of the groceries up because my groceries was not about to go bad for the sake of this video. Okay? So, yeah, you guys. Anywho, um, I think I already told you guys I got the hot dog buns and how much those were. Um, if you missed it, the hot dog buns was a dollar and 38 cents, and I got two of them. And then I got hamburger buns, also a dollar and 38 cents. And then I got a bag of apples, honey crisp, because that's the best kind of apple. Somebody um recently recommended what was it? Oh, candy, candy lady, or something like that. I don't know if I'm saying it right or if I, I'm, I'm remembering it correctly, but I think somebody said like candy lady or something like that. Somebody recommended another apple to me that I really need to try. But right now, these Honeycrisp got me and my family in a chokehold. Like, they're so good. So good. That bag of apple, that bag of apples is a three pound bag of apples. And it is $5.46 for these apples. And then I got a few more things back there. And I'm thinking that it's like some of the things that I didn't know what it was when I was looking at the receipt. I got sour cream and I'm thinking that was the, there was something I didn't know what it was, yeah. I think this was it. This sour cream was a dollar. 
It was a dollar for this, this sour cream. And I got this for like when we make tacos. And I always get the light brand just because it's a little bit healthier. And then I was trying to figure out like what was that on the side, but um, it's 40 calories per serving. And then the serving size is two tablespoons. And then I also got lactose free milk and I got the low fat brand um just because this is a lactose free family um we are lactose intolerant over here as many african american people are um let me try to find this on the receipt i'm sure like i said it was one of those things that i did not know what the heck it was um give me a second to find it Okay, so this was $4.74. Sorry it took so long. But $4.74 for this lactose-free um, low-fat milk. Um, that is the rest of the groceries, you guys, that I had to show you. Um, sorry that this video was literally all over the place. But like I said, I'm going to be better prepared for my next video. And you guys... While I was waiting on the battery to charge for like a few minutes, I, me and my husband, I challenged my husband to take um, one of those apple cider vinegar shots. Um, the bottle that I just showed you guys, it was the cayenne and honey detox blend. You guys, when I say that apple cider vinegar shot burned the, it burns i'm pretty sure it's the cayenne pepper that's in it but my stomach is still have like a very warm sensation to it hopefully that's uh something good like it's you know detoxing my body or making me lose a little weight i don't know you know but i will let you guys know how that goes hopefully it like curbs some sugar cravings who knows um i'm gonna look up exactly what it do but if you guys made it to the end of my video, thank you guys for watching. Catch me in my next video because I'm thinking I'm probably going to do a Sam's Club video pretty soon just because there was some things that I needed to get from Sam's Club. So don't hold me to it though because you know life be life in. So if y'all don't see the Sam's Club video, don't get angry at me. But love you guys. Thank you for watching. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I have to put this little disclaimer in there, you guys. Please be nice in the comments because people be putting some rude comments on my videos sometimes. And I feel like if you do that, just know that I'm going to delete it immediately. <laughs> like, immediately. And the first thing I, I read that that's, seems semi-rude, I'm going to delete it. I'm not even going to read the whole thing. But anywho... Just wanted to throw that in there, but to the people that is showing me love, liking my videos, comment, and beautiful things, thank you guys. Catch me in my next video. Mwah! Bye.